I grew up in Lamert Park and so grew up driving my bicycle up and down what was then, you know, Santa Barbara. And, and my great grandmother was on 49th and Central Avenue, so I grew up going to the Easter Parade along Central Avenue. And my family has deep roots there. And so I am, I believe, a, a true product of what South LA has to offer. The main issue that motivated me, quite frankly, to run for public office is I got mad. It was an emotional response to a set of circumstances that um, I felt powerless around. The state was uh, experiencing a major fiscal crisis and in typical fashion, health and human services programs were on the chopping block and the first to go. Went to Sacramento, took a busload of Crystal Stairs families and moms and babies to fight for critically needed funding for subsidized childcare. And there wasn't an Angelino serving in the budget subcommittee making the decision. And literally in that budget hearing room, I got mad enough to try to go and bring my ordinary life experience to Sacramento to try to make women and their children a public policy priority. I have a joke uh, with uh, Speaker Emeritus John Perez and I tell him all the time that I'm a G-A-W, grown-ass woman. And I'm thrilled that I had the opportunity to, to serve in elective office as a G-A-W um, because my rudder is intact. I'm clear about why I went, what I hope to accomplish, and I'm not going to be deterred or swayed from that. California has the highest child poverty rate in the country. A state that is on record as the seventh largest economy in the world. And so my ultimate desire is to see what I can do to galvanize all the resources in the state of California to eliminate deep poverty. And while that sounds kind of idealistic and grandiose, we are clear that over a five year period of time, if there is the political will and political courage, we can eliminate childhood deep poverty in California. You know, what's unique about my experience is um, I'm an adoptive parent. Uh, and I say that to say um, I was an intentional parent. And um, raising a black male child during these times is challenging. And living that experience that all parents do across the state of California every day informs every decision I make. And so I think parenthood was probably the best training I could have um, to be in a state legislator. I'm so proud of Alberto and watching the new light and opportunity that new leadership uh, to a community institution can bring and have pledged my support to continue to be his partner in making sure that Coco continues to be a successful community asset. So as a native Californian, um, as a poli-sci, you know, wonk, to receive an honor named for a man who was one of the founding members of the California Legislative Black Caucus, of which I'm a member, first African-American, you know, elected to Congress, I'm humbled by that, and know that while we celebrate tonight, know that first thing in the morning, we all get back up to fight for the families in South Los Angeles. That's what Mr. Hawkins would want of me, and that's what I intend to do.